a Fox weather alert here at Hurricane headquarters. Potential tropical cyclone nine forming in the Gulf. Let's go to Stephen Morgan. He's at the expert desk with the identification of this storm. Now, National Hurricane Center can actually issue the tropical storm alerts, but it gives us a lot of confidence that this moisture will impact South Texas. And we could be getting the name of this PTC nine as early as later this afternoon. We already have tropical storm warnings, Amy, and tropical storm watches in effect for the coastal bend of Texas, South Texas included, all the way down to the mouth of the Rio Grande. So there will be a, a pretty large swath of the Texas coastline that could feel the impacts. They will, at least right now, looks to be minimal, but we do have the potential here to get in on a tropical storm. The next name at the moment is Harold. So this, if it does continue to strengthen, could produce it. Let's show you the Gulf of Mexico right now and what we have going on with it, because it is taking up a lot of space in the Gulf. Oftentimes, these systems, they do. And looking at where the rain is, and Amy, join me in this conversation, because there's a couple of things at play. Look at the, the moisture that we have wrapping around this. I mean, we've got it from the Keys all the way through the central Gulf Coast down to Texas. We could have showers in Texas associated with this PTC-9 as early as this evening. Yeah, I mean, the bad news is that Tampa loses out, right? You don't get anything on the west coast we of were Florida. Hopeful last week, you might we? get the outer bands impacting a shower or two for places like New Orleans. Anywhere along the Gulf Coast, they need it. Don't forget that the deficits there are more than 20 inches, so rain is necessary. But once you get that, that energy moving towards south Texas, yeah. you've got fingers crossed. Houston doesn't get anything but a few clouds to tap down the more, uh, heat, but Corpus Christi to Brownsville will take it. Don't forget yes. the, the governor in the state of Texas so worried about the rain putting out a disaster declaration because of wildfire danger mm -hmm. and then the water restriction situation. So any amount of moisture for South Texas is a bonus at this point. And the majority of these counties in South Texas are currently under burn bans. So to see this moisture coming to South Texas is is nice. Is it where we need it the most? No, we need it farther north, a little closer to the hill country up near the, the capital up in Austin. But there will be a lot of moisture associated with this. With PTC 9, we could see upwards of seven inches worth of rain in some isolated areas. But and all, the winds are also going to be a thing. I think what you're seeing here, too, is a recognition of that moisture when you put the tropical storm watches a little further northward. That's also an indication of the pull of moisture uh, from the Gulf that we could potentially see from this. Sometimes the winds, you know, also uh, at play here, but if there's enough forcing there to pull an onshore flow, then we get moisture to work with for some, some storms. There could be some surge with this. I don't know how um, influential a you know, three foot surge would be, um, but that's something to consider as well. Not a big deal. The only thing is that the Texas coastline is very flat. So True. a one to upwards of three foot storm surge when you consider high tide, that could lead to a little bit of inundation. But overall, we've got Corpus Christi Bay. We have uh, Copano Bay, which was devastated by Hurricane Harvey. Farther north, we have Port Lavaca. We've got Matagorda Bay too. So a one to three foot storm surge is an indication. And I'm highlighting these areas mainly north of Corpus Christi because the overall evolution of this thing as it rotates a counterclockwise this system and it gets its act together. But looking at what we've got going on, hurricane hunters are going to be investigating this later this afternoon. It's been really tough to really find that closed circulation. That's why this was given the designation PTC-9 because we don't have that organized at least core yet. But that can happen very fast. We see it all the time. We think back to as recent as 2020, Amy. Uh, Hannah was a tropical storm throughout the entire course of the Gulf of Mexico until it reached the coastline. And that's when it became quickly a hurricane. So the threats are there, and we do not want to ignore the threats that we have in the Gulf of Mexico, especially since this is the first one. Yeah, and I'll say threats slash Good news, because they while it could potentially mean some areas get too much rain too quick, I think bringing any moisture at this point, let's see if we can handle it. Um, we are going to have to watch some vulnerable areas closely, but it could be actually a good news situation coming in from tropical moisture off the Gulf. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.